So I'll put y'all back up here where you were. I've got y'all hanging. Y'all like a trapeze artist. You're hanging by that piece of wire right there. And, uh, and I'll get on with that. If I had two people here, I'm going to call up Butch and see what he's doing. I have one hold this and then put a wrench on this. Oh, see, that one came loose. That's good. Spots where I need a vice. Well, let's go ahead and take this one out when it does turn. This has a hole through it, and I can see the hole. You probably can. But there is a hole through the center of that. It's actually, smaller than this drill bit. But that hole must be open because gas needs to pass through that. Sometimes I can find a little piece of wire and push it through that hole. Since that's such a small hole, I need something. Oh, there's a little tiny drill bit. I started to say I need something about the size of a, maybe a small paper clip. But I don't want to drill that hole. In other words, I don't want to make a bigger hole because the size of that hole is important. If you have a, if I drill the hole and it made it bigger, some people used to do that in hot rods and stuff. But sometimes you can a little bit is too much, and that's a specific size hole. I can see light through it, so it's actually open. I can blow through it a bit. It's going to make my lips burn because it's got that gas and everything on it. But I know it's open. So I'm just going to sit that down in there. Sometimes there'll be a little ball in these things uh, with your. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna squirt some some of this carburetor cleaner right in the gas line and it should come out right there. See that? So the other see this is a this is a shaft, so I don't have to I don't have to blow that out. And this here uh, is a choke butterfly, so I don't have to worry about blowing that out. Other thing that I have to clean out though is there's a long, I call that other thing a needle valve, but there's a long needle valve and it look, really looks like a needle and it's in here. Gas passes down through it and it, and it spreads out. You can kind of see it if you look down in there. You can see that shaft up and down. That's, that's the needle valve and it has some really tiny little holes in it. It has to be very clean. So. Trick. I like these screwdrivers. It has this end on there. And you can do that sort of thing. It'll give you a little more pressure than you can get with your hands. There. Now we take this out. See, now this thing here is down in the bottom of the bowl, so vacuum sucks gas up through this. Now this also has a hole in it, which should be clean. In this case, it's closed. It's not clean. I'm making stick a wire through that hole. I want to make him blow that out. Let's see. It might have some side holes too. It may not be a hole. I might be wrong about that. Have a little bitty threaded screwdriver hole down inside there that takes it out. So I'm gonna need a little bitty skinny screwdriver. Go down in that hole. 
<laughs> Smaller than that. About the right size. Let's see if I can blow that out with the air compression. It's going to be noisy, y'all. Well, I was able to get that piece that was here open uh, with some air and with some of this, and I put it down there in there soak. And I've got a little screwdriver that's it's almost too little for that that I'm trying to turn in there. I need to find a screwdriver that's somewhere between that and that. So let me keep looking. I might have to grind one. I'd rather not. <laughs> it's all about finding the right screwdriver. 